Hello guys, it's Bivs here from Design Coder. In the previous video, we had the design preview over here on the left hand side and we had our actual app running on the iPhone 6 simulator here on the right hand side. Currently, as you notice, there are no images. So in this video, we're going to add images to this toggle button at the bottom and to the image view, which is at the top. Currently, the image view is not seen on the screen because there is no image to be displayed. Rather, you can see it on the main dot storyboard indicating that there is an image view above the UI label. Let's take a look at the different iOS devices out there in order to understand how we can use images in iOS. As you notice on the left hand side, there are the oldest iPhones. On the right hand side, there's iPhone 6 plus and the latest devices that come after that. But here in between, you have the iPhone 5, the 5S and other phones out there. Notice these boxes, the yellow one that says 1X, 2x and the green one that says 3x over here in ios you don't use pixels to measure stuff rather you use something called points let's take a look at what that looks like on the oldest devices a point and a pixel are the same on the 2x devices a point is basically two pixels in other words it's four pixels take a look at this square now this is one point on your 2x devices on 3x devices a point is nine pixels so it is horizontally 3 and vertically 3 pixels put together in the same amount of space making one point. Now let's take a look at the reason behind this. If you were to plot all the pixels of the iPhone devices on the basis of their category that is 1x or 2x or 3x, this is what you would see on the screen. The oldest devices have pretty large pixels out here. That means they don't fit many pixels in the same amount of space. The 2x devices can fit like 4 pixels in the same amount of space compared to the first one over here in 1x and look at the 3x devices they can fit 9 pixels in the same amount of space as the first one which is why iOS uses points to measure things therefore 1x there is one point which is one pixel in 2x there are 4 pixels that make one point and in 3x there are 9 pixels that make one point now what this simply means is the same image of let's say 100 pixels is gonna look something like this but on 2x device if you use the same 100 pixel image it's gonna take half the amount of space and on 3x it's gonna take one third the amount of space so if you have an image and you want to display that image and make it take the same amount of space on all the devices regardless of how many pixels fit within the same inch this is what you need you need three variations of that particular image let's say there's the one x image which is 63 by 63 pixels for displaying the same image on a 2x device or the area where twice the amount of pixels can fit within the same amount of space on the screen you need an image whose size is 126 by 126 so that it looks like it takes the same amount of space on the screen and for 3x devices you need a 3 times or a 3x image out there now coming back to xcode let's see how we can add these images to xcode so that we can use the image from our project within our control widgets over here there's the assets folder here which has the 1x 2x and 3x image designed for all the three images that we need now for the button we need two images one when it is off and the other when it is on and whatever image you take you need three variations of it because of the problem we just discussed so let's go ahead and first see how we can import the clock 1x image and the rest of the images can be imported in the same way so all you have to do is take the clock 1x or base image first you need to go here on the left hand side there is the folder called assets.xc assets just select that folder here and let's go back and drag stuff inside that folder so there you go clock 1x is coming all the way dragged and just drop it in this area here where you can see app icon at the top leave it once over there and you notice immediately that here xcode has created two placeholders for you guys so that you can put the other two images within these placeholders so what we are going to do is go back to our assets directory here take the 2x image and again drag it and drop it right there in the placeholder for 2x same thing to do for 3x as well let's take the clock 3x image and again drag and drop it right there in the clock underscore 3x now remember that the name of the file here on the left hand side is clock underscore 1x even though they have different file names the image takes the name of the base file name that you have given for the 1x image and therefore when we refer to this in the image view we are going to use the name clock underscore 1x now let's see how we can add this image in the image view it's pretty simple all you have to go is to the main dot storyboard and here we have our image view make sure that you select the image view first 
go on the right hand side where we can customize the properties that would be the fourth tab which is the attributes inspector let's select that tab over there notice the option that says image immediately under this image view section over here select that option and look at that there is clock underscore one x when you select that and you come back you see this is what you find now the image looks like it has been stretched horizontally and that is because of how you have specified the image should occupy the space let's go here on the right hand side and take a look at something else there is the mode here where it says scale to fill let's change that mode to say aspect fit and find out what it shows here immediately you can see that the image view looks better than what it did before scale to fill simply means i don't care about the aspect ratio of the image just stretch it horizontally and vertically aspect fit means take the image find out what is its largest side and make sure that largest side fits within the rectangular area of this image view that is given over here and that is why the image doesn't lose its aspect ratio when you're saying aspect fit let's try to analyze the size of our image view over here just to see how much space it takes if you select the image view and if you go here on the right hand side we have the fifth tab called the size inspector where you can see there's x y width and height all these values are in points which means they translate to the appropriate number of pixels based on the device now iphone 6 our current emulator is basically 2x in terms of its nature that means 240 translates to a width of 480 pixels and 128 is 256 pixels tall now remember our image is not of that size our image is bigger than that therefore we want to ensure that the image view takes up as much space taken by the image to do that let's go back once again select the image view here go to the top there is the option called editor from that there is this specific option that says size to fit content in other words it, it tells the image view to take as much space on the screen as taken by the image so just select that option and notice immediately things become bigger over here and you see this orange lines everywhere indicating that well your size that you're showing on the screen has changed so let's try to move things around and adjust them a bit for starters we can just take the image view that we have move it at the top and place it right above the label over there so once again you see these orange lines these simply indicate that your constraints are having some problems so what we can do for starters is simply go ahead and remove the constraints that we already added by just selecting them and hitting delete on the right hand side now take the image view once again and go up all the way and bring it right back above the ui label this time you can go at the top to editor and you can select the option that says resolve auto layout issues here and add the missing constraints when you do that new constraints are added to this image view let's take a look at those constraints over there so after selecting the image view here on the right hand side under the fifth tab which would be the size inspector you can see the constraints the height equals 160 points the top space to top layout it says the top space basically from this area here at the top all the way to the top area here which is called the top layout would be 67 that is the second constraint the third one says align the center of this image view with the center of the label that says 00 and then there's the bottom space to 00 which is equal to default which is 0 by the way so if you notice if you select this and if you select the ui label you notice that the distance between them is zero points out there so the layout is perfect if you run it on the device this is what you see compared to the design preview which is pretty good now the next thing that we need to fix would be the font which cannot be done now because we need to go to the code and do it rather we can add the image over here to this button and remove its text let me first import those images in the same way i imported the image here so after importing the two button images inside my assets.xc assets folder here i have the same two images here off underscore 1x and on underscore 1x now i want to use these with our button so i'll go to the main dot storyboard back and i will select the button here for starters i'm going to go on the right hand side where i can customize its properties 
in the fourth tab which would be our attributes inspector just select that and here it says the text under that button is currently this text over here let's remove that so that there is no text and there is this option that says image which is the default image by default we want to show the off button so i want to select off underscore 1x and now when you go back and you take a look you have our button over here that displays the exact same thing that you see on the design preview on running the app in our simulator and comparing it with our design preview here you notice that the button needs to be pushed a bit further down from the ui label to do that let's go back to the main dot storyboard select the button and try to understand the constraints to do so we go here on the right hand side to the size inspector which is the fifth tab over here and notice the two constraints here the one it says align the center of this button with the center of the label 0000. The next one says stop space to 00 should be 40 points. Let's change that distance to say 60 points out there. So just hit 60 and hit return here. When you go back to the storyboard, you will notice that things have changed a bit. Now when you run the app, let's find out how it looks. Now when you run the app, what you see in the simulator matches almost with what we have in the design preview, except for two things. One, the font that we have in the simulator. Two, this button here doesn't work or change the image to what we have inside the design preview over here. We are going to fix this in the further videos. In the meantime, stay tuned with Design Coder. All the videos covering the design, the Android part and the iOS development are right here on designcoder.io. So be sure to sign up right today and get unlimited, unrestricted access to all the videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.